What a cutie. Well, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but when it comes to tacky, cheesy Christmas sweaters, well, sometimes nothing can redeem them, which is okay, it seems, because when it comes to Christmas sweaters this year, as Robin Gill reports, ugly is in. Laura Kukopoulos has been invited to her first ugly Christmas sweater party. The Australian native is new to this phenomenon. Christmas is 40 degrees in the summer, so the sweater thing's a bit, bit strange, a bit quirky. For those newbies, in our youth, we were forced to trot out the crazy Christmas gear. Now we're making it trendy. Oh, this one jingles. <laughs> At this vintage store in Vancouver, the staff can't keep up with the number of hipsters wanting these tacky tops. Sales have doubled since last year, with calls coming from the United States and as far away as Australia. It's getting harder and harder to find them for us to find them because, you know, it's become this big craze all over the world. These sweaters are so in demand that this store is asking that customers return them once they're done with one party so they can be recycled for the next one. Antlers, people! Ugly sweater mania began in Vancouver 12 years ago. The caveat, the uglier, the better. You can't try to wear an ugly sweater and still look good. So that means if you're a girl, don't try and make it fit so you still look good. You gotta go with the ugly. But that's a real nice ski mask. <laughs> the entertainment world has long seen the humor of the hideous holiday wear. Who? Ding dong. Who can forget that scene from Bridget, Bridget Jones's diary? Maybe not. And then there's the man behind the sweaters of all sweaters, Bill Cosby. All right. But there's also a serious side to the holiday haute couture. This ugly sweater run was organized to raise money for the Children's Wish Foundation. If you put on a sweater, you got to know why you're wearing it. you got to be ugly, do good, connect with those that matters, give back and be kind. And in this case, we're giving back to kids. As for Laura, she's getting into the spirit of a true Canadian Christmas. I think Christmas is just about being with the people you love and with your family and having fun. And why not wear something ugly for Christmas? Family, friends and a little fashion faux pas. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.